Hi, and welcome to the LDV Podcast. My name is David Maldo, and today we're going to be taking a look at the life-size Icon 300. This is a particularly fun eval for me because one of the first products I ever evaluated over 10 years ago was one of the first life-size products to hit the market. It was one of the first video conferencing systems to have 720p. Since then, the times have changed. When I talk with my friends at LifeSize, we noted that this evaluation is a completely different perspective than that original one. And that system, the original system, was sort of for the, for the boardroom, the big meeting room, something an IT person would manage. And what I was really trying to prove at the time, again, over 10 years ago, was that it was possible to have a high quality, reliable, high definition video conferencing experience. Basically, that it actually worked. The Icon 300, however, is completely different. This is designed for the huddle room. This is designed for mass deployment. And we've reached the point where video conferencing has worked well for many years now. We take it for granted that we're going to have a good video call. What I'm concerned about is how does this work at scale? From an IT person's perspective, how hard are these to set up and to deploy and to manage? But also, we really need to do two evaluations. Because if this is going to be in huddle rooms, if we're going to have a lot of these, we want mass adoption. We need to make sure that they're usable. So I'm also going to evaluate this from the user perspective and see how easy it is to just start using this. So let's start by taking a look at the system itself. It comes in two components. One is the speakerphone, which there are two things that I like about it. One is that it has the touch panel that controls the meeting, which is going to be right on the table where you have access to it, where you need it. And the other is that it only has one cable which connects to the other component. You don't need a separate power cable, which I like, makes things easier. Now, the second component is obviously going to be the camera, but camera design for huddle spaces is particularly tricky. You want something that people are gonna actually use. So it can't look like, look like those fancy boardroom systems. That's too intimidating. People are afraid of breaking those. They don't wanna to touch those. You need something that people won't be afraid of. You need something that looks like it's designed for everyone to use. Something that almost looks a little bit like a consumer device but you don't want a webcam for a meeting room. Webcams are for person to person. What you really need for a huddle space is something that's kind of like a webcam on steroids. And that's sort of what the Icon 300 looks like. When I saw this, I immediately was like, oh, this is, this is appealing. I don't think this is gonna intimidate anyone. It looks, it, it looks like something that's meant to be used. And as far as the physical installation, I just snapped this stand to it if you want to put it on a counter or a table. And it also has a wall mount if you want to do put it above or below a monitor as you would in a traditional installation. So after I took these two items out of the packaging, I thought something was wrong. I called up my friends at LifeSize and I said, hey, you forgot to send me the box. Where's the box? They said, David, what are you, what are you talking about? I said, well, the way these video conferencing systems work is you have the audio, you have the video, and then you have the, the box, the small computer that runs the software. That's the way we've always done it. And they said the box is actually in the camera unit which is great because that means we only have two devices to connect. That's obviously easier, easier for cable management, power needs, everything else. It becomes a lot easier setup and a lot easier management. For the full specs and documentation, you can head over to LifeSize's website, see everything you need to know about it. One spec that is worthy of discussion is the 4K support. LifeSize supports 4K on their cloud network and on their endpoints. It is, it is industry leading. Not everyone is gonna say they need 4K, but everyone is going to appreciate it. And the industries that do need it, really need it. And it's important to note, it's not just 4K for the video itself, the primary video, it's 4K for the content share. Uh, so there's obviously a lot of applications where that's gonna be crucial. So let's set up our unit and make our first call. Okay, so here we have it. And in the back, you see there's a small fan to keep it cool and a few connectors. There's our speakerphone, our power, our internet, our one or two monitors, and USB for screen share. So let's grab our cables and get started. So here I have my four essentials for video conferencing. My video to my monitor, which is an HDI standard cable. My internet, just a regular internet cable to my modem router, audio to the speakerphone we just looked at, and power. Connect them and we're up and running. So, pop in the speakerphone, pop in the internet, 
the uh, monitor for video. And finally, the power. So let me plug in the power on the other end and see what happens. So after the system powered up, it showed an IP address on the monitor I connected it to. I went to that IP address and it had a very quick wizard. I think I put in my time zone, the admin password. One notable thing, it allowed me to choose between using the audio on my monitor on my screen or the audio in the speakerphone. Now there is a certain uh, immersive effect to having the audio come from the same place where you're looking at the person you're talking to, but if you have weak audio coming from your monitor, you might want to use a speakerphone. It's right in front of you and it's high quality. After completing the wizard, that IP address becomes a standard admin portal for the device. System diagnostics, setting up to be used for VoIP, basic system behavior, admin password. But honestly, I don't think you'll be spending a lot of time on this page. This is set it and forget it stuff. You'll be spending more time in the admin portal. Okay, now just to be clear, this isn't the user caller login portal. This is the admin portal. We're still in IT mode here. And immediately the device showed up in, under my room systems and I just had to quickly pair it. And now I can manage it from here. I could see its information. And if I wanted to, I could create a calendar for it, which would allow me from the device itself to just join meetings that showed up in the calendar. Now, I said at the beginning, we're going to keep scalability in mind. So, so far, I think we passed the test. If we had dozens of these to deploy, we would have plugged in four cables for each one, gone through a 30-second wizard for each one, basically to name it, have them show up here in our admin portal, and then one click to pair them all. So we really could so far scale the deployment of literally dozens of these devices. One last thing I particularly liked on this page is the customization uh, of the speakerphone, of the touch panel. I was able to upload a wallpaper. I just clicked File to Upload. And when I click this, it changes the background to my company logo. And when I click Save, it instantly changes on the device. It just changed on the device right in front of me, which I thought is cool. You could also change how the buttons show up, put more buttons. If you want to have the, let's say the volume right there on the main page, there it is. And again, it just showed up right on my device. And if you wanted to make this global, we were talking about scalability to for, before, apply to all phone systems. Every phone system has a new company logo all at once. Really cool stuff. Now we're here today to talk about the Icon 300, but I just want to make one quick point about the admin portal. It's really accessible and, and user friendly. It, it almost looks like a small to medium business tool, but it is clearly designed to support enterprise. They even support single sign-on. So it's ready to go for big companies. So while there's a lot more I'd like to talk about and share with you about the admin portal, let's move on and get back on with the Icon 300. Now let's take off our IT person's hat we're done with the installation, we're done with the management, and let's move on to the user experience. Let's put on our user's hat. Now I am David, not the IT person at the company, but someone on the sales team, someone on the marketing team, someone on the development team who has one of these devices in his or her huddle space, and I'm ready to use it. What do I do?